That kind of stuff is scary. Federal agents reveal disturbing details about a local puppeteer and the twisted fantasies they say he had about little boys. And tonight we're hearing more about the charges he's facing. Yeah, our Chris Martinez talked to Ronald Brown's attorney about those troubling charges. He joins us live in downtown Tampa with more tonight. Chris? Well, Jameson, that attorney believes this man is innocent despite the mountain of evidence federal agents have already collected in this case. It's evidence this guy's neighbors call simply disgusting. In a federal courtroom, Ronald Brown sat shackled and silent as he was ordered held without bond. His attorney tonight vowing to get him out. He's not involved with this. He wouldn't do something like this. He's got no criminal record. But federal agents say the evidence uncovered in the 57-year-old's home suggests otherwise, including disturbing images of child porn, like pictures of boys with their hands and feet bound by ropes, and at least one where a child appeared to be dead. That kind of stuff is scary. Stacy Gogan was disgusted but not surprised by the allegations, saying for years her neighbor has spent an unusual amount of time with children, the puppeteer taking kids with him to church, and also hosting pizza dinners at home for groups of young boys at least once a week. They'd come with their bikes and their skateboards and they'd hang out waiting for him to come home. But what neighbors say they never imagined are highly graphic conversations Brown admitted to having with another man online. Transcripts show they talked talked at length about the best way to kill children as young as two years old, describing how to cut them up, cook them, and eat their remains. It's not just gross, it's beyond, you know, the concept of, of where you come up with things like that. And most of those online conversations were so graphic, we really couldn't share any of that with you on TV. But tonight, agents are telling us that Brown told them all of it was just a fantasy. It's stuff he says he would never actually do in real life, even though he made a number of references to a specific boy he knows through his church. Tonight, Brown is being held in custody. And the other man taking part in those online conversations, he is in jail as well in Kansas. We're live tonight in Tampa. I'm Chris Martinez, ABC Action News.